So it's something in the history, uh, some indication from uh, uh, the family background that could be obviously going to do a complete workup. But the other side of the coin is, e even if you couldn't find it and it could be there, what are you going to do if it happens? So the parents should take a CPR course. We assume all the athletic people Correct. should take a CPR course. And there should be a device, if we, everybody gets together, this is concerned, that could save a kid's life, which would be an automatic defibrillator. We agree with that? Yes. There, there, there are two issues. There's screening children for athletics to determine who is at risk for sudden cardiac death. This particular area, there is controversy. The general standard of care is to have a pre-participation questionnaire filled out with the pediatrician asking questions about symptoms of chest pain, of passing out, of palpitations, asking questions of family history of sudden death, and completing a physical exam. If that is normal and there's no positive findings, then the general recommendation is for no further screening. However, there are many who do recommend, beyond that, a screening electrocardiogram to rule out conditions such as long QT syndrome, Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome, and hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. The second issue is at the athletic event itself. Okay. If someone were to collapse, what is done? And that's where CPR training in the trainers, in the coaches, and the presence of an automatic defibrillator that a lay person could use could help to revive the patient who suddenly collapses. So I think that if both those things are done, then we would decrease even further the uh, tragic events that can occur on the athletic field. And there should be some kind of a plan in any event, especially if you're traveling, who is in charge, what should be done, because sometimes when something like that happens, there's all chaos. There should be a preset. This is this one takes over. This is what we would do. Blah blah blah. And there's an old rule: if you're prepared for a problem, it usually doesn't happen. Is that true? No question. Best insurance in the world. A absolutely. And preparing the parents, the coaches, um, and the, and the, and the athletic trainers. Most high school sports teams will have an athletic trainer. Um, some some schools and some leagues provide nurses or physicians available as well. Um, it really depends upon where you are, but the more people who are trained, the more people who are aware of these potential situations, uh, the less likely they are uh, not only to occur, but the less likely they are to lead to a catastrophic event. Okay. Well, we have insights. This is extremely serious. If we're talking one to two events per 100,000 kids, is that correct? Correct. Okay, so taking that in consideration, parents should not Even lose less. sleep over it, relax, correct. enjoy, but take the insurance of Getting a doctor involved, taking a good history, take all the factors you're worried about and reduce some great. And remember, with all that done, there's still a chance, very rare, a baseball hits a person in the chest that's unprotected. There's no way of predicting that. Things happen, so have the automatic. The main thing is to not live with an irrational fear that something bad is going to happen to your child when they're doing athletics. Athletics provide far more good than bad, not only in the child's self esteem social interactions, but providing for a healthy heart. Doing activity and staying physically fit uh, provide, provides them with a much better opportunity for a healthy heart later in life and instilling those values of good diet and exercise. What I often tell parents, they come into the office so concerned about their child playing sports when probably the fast food and the fried food and the sedentary lifestyle their child is leading is far more a greater risk to their, to their health than the chances of something catastrophic occurring um, at an athletic event. The fact that the kid would participate in this sport and not in front of the computer is a very good no enhancement question. of life. And I think that needs to be stressed, the importance of physical activity and exercise, instilling that in a young child so that they carry that with them as they get older. That, that's very important. And that parents shouldn't, shouldn't have fear, an unnecessary fear. Be prepared, but don't live in fear. And the old rule, if you're prepared for a problem, it probably will never happen.